Well, across the border in Somalia, where the problem is not really infrastructure and arbitration, but a more basic problem, which is security. However, the African Union troops appear to be making what could be a final assault on the remaining strongholds of Al-Shabaab. KTN's Wilkis Tanyabwa reports on the return of normalcy, uh, rather return to normalcy, in a town that has only just been liberated. Life is slowly returning to normal in Raga Ele, Somalia. The town was captured from Al-Shabaab militants on 1st October by a joint force made up of troops from the Somali National Army and African Union Mission in Somalia. Three days later, officers walked the streets of Raga Ele to meet residents and discuss how to beef up security. Today you can also be a witness to the fact that business is back to normal. We are here, Amisom and SNA, and have spoken to the communities, mothers, children, and they are very happy. They have confidence in us and are very happy with the operation Indian Ocean. They also took part in the operation and they have welcomed us warmly. We are very confident that we can work with this community. The team of Burundi contingent have just met the, the, the local people of Lagasel to get the situation which is going on here because the, the Al Shabaab move away. That's why to establish the relationship between uh, civilian and uh, civilian and the military, we have to establish the relation and uh, in order to to know exactly what is going on here. Operation Indian Ocean was launched in August in the last remaining territories occupied by Al-Shabaab with specific focus on towns along the coast. The joint SNA and Amizom forces next objective is to liberate the port town of Kadale. Federal security officials estimate that around 500 Al-Shabaab fighters have defected to the government since Operation Indian Ocean was launched. The joint forces have captured all of the Bulomare district district in Lower Shabele as well as new areas in the province's Barawe district. The biggest prize now left is Barawe, Al-Shabaab's largest remaining stronghold. Wilkis Tanyapo, KTN.